Uh, my name is Lynn Sietzet and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Beaufort. I've always enjoyed science and technology when I was a kid. Uh, actually, I was always eager to study about space and uh, science and become an astrophysicist. Uh, this passion of understanding the world around me drove me into science and technology and when starting these studies I really yeah, came into contact with photonics and I saw these amazing new things that can be developed using light and light technology which uh, that drove me into photonics technologies and now uh, resulted into a postdoctoral uh, position at, uh, at Brussels Photonics. Uh, most people were not really surprised because I really liked science and technology and I was reading all the time about uh, new developments and about uh, space. So yeah, most of them found it like an obvious choice and actually encouraged me to always follow my passion. Because if you don't follow your passion and if you study something that you don't like, how can you ever end up in a job that you do like? and your job you need to do that for the rest of your life every day so it's important to choose something that you like and to let passion guide you the way I don't think so uh, I have two kids myself <laughs> so uh, I would be a liar if I would say it is easy <laughs> that's not but for me it's equally different for women as for men because every kid has also a father that should take up his responsibilities and that should help with, uh, with childcare. So, is it easy? No. Uh, is it possible? For sure it is. Uh, it all comes with some time management and some organization, but otherwise it, uh, it is perfectly combinable. And actually, I think motherhood even made me a better scientist because Having kids really made me to see the world like a kid also and I see again this childish impression of, of everything uh, and also enables me to relax and to relativate a little bit more than, than previously was, was the case. Uh, no, uh, I don't think so. I, I think we are very lucky uh, in this research group and at this university uh, that we are already such a diverse uh, group with a good balance so I never uh, faced any difficulties. I think we especially should encourage them to follow their passion and their dreams uh, whether it is science or, or not but they should not feel limited because of, of their gender. They should just be able to follow their dreams and of course if this is in science they should not let them guide by stereotypes that might say like yeah that's more for boys uh, they should just follow their dreams uh, i think we have a very good balance uh, we have a mixed group we also have an international group but there is approximately an equal amount of women and men uh, I think yeah, for an engineering research group, this is kind of a unique case, but it's really nice to work in this, uh, in this at atmosphere and to have a mixed, really mixed group.